All right, so we have a DEA number. Now, a DEA number, like I said in a previous video, stands for the Drug Enforcement Agency number. Now, every person who dispenses, manufactures, wholesale, or distributes a controlled substance must be registered with the DEA and must have a DEA number. So if, you have a, if you're working at a pharmacy that dispenses control medications, they'll have a DEA number. Um, a hospital will have a DEA number and especially doctors. All doctors that you see that write a prescription for a controlled medication will have a DEA number. And the DEA number, as you can see right here, is a mixture of two letters. They're always going to have two letters and then seven numbers. Okay, So the first letter is going to represent what kind of person or who is dispensing or who is writing the prescription for the control medications. Um, they could be M for any like mid-level practitioner, um, including nurse practitioners, midwives, clinical nurse specialists, nurse anesthetists, and physician assistant. And then you have an R for a wholesaler. So some of these might be Walgreens, um, CVS, Fry's, Target, those kind of things. And then you'll have an A or a B, A or B for all others. So it might be like the doctors, surgeons, um, those kind of things. So how we're going to figure this out, sorry, so we'll go back to the first one. So the second one is going to be the first initial of the last name. So for example, let's say this guy's, this doctor's name is Peter Howard. Peter Howard. And that's how you know that the second letter is going to be the first letter of his last name. Now the formula that you're going to go about um, using in order to figure out if this is a valid DEA number, it's going to be the, you're going to add the first, the third, and the fifth number together. And then you're going to add the second, fourth, and sixth number together. And you're going to multiply only the second part by 2. All right, so you're going to multiply the second part by 2. So for example, and the, sorry, and then you're going to add these numbers together and it's going to be the last digit. It's going to be the last digit of the number. So for example, as we can see here, we're going to have um, I'll go ahead and write it here. So we're going to have the 1 plus 5 plus 5 equals 11 and then we're going to have the 9 plus 3, plus 6, that's going to be 18, but you're going to multiply that by 2, so that's going to give you 36. So you're going to add the 36 and the 11 together, and that's going to give you 47. And the last digit right there, you can see, is a 7, and this number is a 7, so therefore you know that this right here is a valid DEA number. And a lot of times you're going to have the system do it or the computer do it if you're working at a computer. Um, but it is important to know this because this will definitely be on the pharmacy technician test. So here is another example. Um, so the M is going to be a mid-level practitioner. And then the S is going to be what? What do you think the S is going to be? You're right. It's going to be the first initial of the last name. So let's just say this person's na last name is Smith. Okay, so the S... That's where the S comes from. And then what's the first thing? You're, go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and try to do it by yourself and see if the fourth number is the correct number. So, all right. So you're going to have the first plus the third plus the fourth equals 18. Then you're going to have the two plus four plus eight and that's going to equal 14. You're going to multiply that by 2 to give you 28. When you add these numbers together, you're going to get 46. And so this right here is not a valid DEA number because the last number should be a 6. So you would know that this, this is not the correct DEA number. So there's, that's how you do the DEA number.